everyone, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. I'm going to talk about another company that sells their very own customized shampoo and conditioner. I have made another video about a company similar to this one where they customize their own products, but I have something really exciting to offer you guys in this video though. Wait until the very end of this video to see what I have to offer you guys. What is this company about? This company is called Formulate. It is a company that sells shampoo and conditioner that you can take a quiz and customize and have it sent right to you. It is such a brand new company that it only sells to the US for right now. It hopes to expand and be able to give their products out to everyone, everywhere, and much faster eventually. For me, this is a really good idea because I'm an apprentice hairstylist right now, but I have graduated hair school already and I've been doing hair for a while. What I do for a living is I talk to people about their hair. I understand their issues with their hair and I try to help them. And I really like how this company does the same thing. The quiz that you have to take in order to get your customized products really goes in depth with what you need to know about your hair and what they need to know about you in order to put the right ingredients in there. And um, I'm just going to show you how I did my quiz and what they actually put together from all that data. In order to actually do this whole process of taking the quiz and getting your products, you have to be offered a link this far only because it's just such a new company. Um, so basically it asks me for my name and then it asks for what color is your natural hair. So my natural hair is brown, I chose brown. It also asks you the length of your hair. I chose chin length. It then asks when dry what patterns does your hair naturally form? I naturally have very straight hair, so I chose straight. Then it asks, how thick is your hair strand? This determines whether or not your, pro your product is going to be very heavy on the hair or lighter on the hair. Finer hair can easily be weighed down by a product that's too heavy. So I chose medium. It also asks how oily your hair is. My hair is very balanced. Um, it's because I've I've trained my hair to be balanced. My hair used to be very like dry at the scalp and I used to wash my hair every day so I didn't ever really see if it got oily or not. Uh, it then asks for you to look at your scalp and see how much of your scalp is showing. So this is like showing the difference between uh, coarseness of your hair and density of your hair. You can have fine hair but lots of it or you can have very little hair like you can see a lot of your scalp but every single individual strand is super thick. That means you have coarse hair that is thinning or you just have sparsity in your hair. So um, I chose some because my hair isn't necessarily very uh, full. I can see my scalp but I'm not thinning whatsoever. It also asks how sensitive your scalp is. My scalp is not sensitive. Some people are very tender headed. Some people have really itchy scalps. How often do you notice dandruff on your shoulders? I never do. I actually used to when I was younger. I feel like sometimes when people have dandruff problems, they have to use a shampoo that is just meant for dandruff, and then, you know, what if your hair, what if you have dandruff, but then your ends are really dry, so you need a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. A lot of people that I know have a dandruff shampoo that they'll use like every now and then, and then their regular shampoo is what their other problems will cover, like um, repair or moisture or anti-frizz and I like how this is all really combining that so you only need one shampoo and conditioner so in the long run you're actually saving money and you're saving product. It also asks how many days per week you shampoo your hair. This one is tough for me because I'll just explain it now. If you shampoo your hair more often your scalp will be oily more often. If you train your scalp, which you can do, and I have done, you can train your scalp to not produce as much oil by shampooing less and less and less over time. I've trained my scalp to the point where I actually don't need shampoo at all, which sounds really crazy, but for example, the last time I got my hair actually wet was not yesterday, but the previous day, and 
my hair does not look oily or anything. I haven't even brushed it, and this is my hair. Um, and it's not like my hair is even perfect. It's actually, you know, it's been through a lot of processes. It's dry. When I feel like my scalp needs to be refreshed, I put the conditioner on and I rinse my fingers through it, like through the water. I kind of run my fingers along my scalp, and what that does is it just like takes all the oil and pulls it through mid shaft to ends so that it's evenly distributed so it doesn't look like I have clumps of oil in my hair. What I also do is I use shampoo either when I'm doing a color service or I do a, a oil mask. So that's why I have used this shampoo a few times. I won't be using it as much as my conditioner but I do use it. Uh, when I had my bleach done, so I, my, my hair was brown when I actually got this package, we have to shampoo out the bleach and we had to shampoo out the uh, root color that I put onto my hair to ensure the product isn't still sitting in the hair and over processing it. If you're using a shampoo that's meant to be used only every now and then, you shouldn't be shampooing every day. But if you say you shampoo every day, the product will probably be safer for you to use every day because that was put into consideration when it was being formulated. And same thing goes for the conditioner question. I usually shampoo rarely ever. Um, uh, whenever I'm not doing a color service, I will shampoo my hair. If I feel like my hair is really dry, I will put a bunch of oils in my hair, let them sit for a few hours, and then my hair is so full of oil that I will have to shampoo it out actually. So I'll, I will do that maybe twice a month or a little bit more if I'm just feeling like it. But conditioner, I usually use that every other day or every three days. It also asks the question, is your hair colored? I obviously do color my hair, and I think that it's just safer to say, yes, your hair is colored, because what if your hair isn't colored, and, or you're using this shampoo, and then you decide to color your hair? You can still use this shampoo, because then it's color safe. I recommend you choose a uh, yes for this question, but it's up to you. What do you typically use to style your hair? I use a hair dryer, a straightener, a curling iron, and dry shampoo, um, all those things. There's also an option where it says um, where, you, where will you primarily spend the next two months. Um, this is where this quiz gets super complex and I love it. So it actually tells you to type in your zip code of where you're going to be for the next two months. Um, just because, you know, if you're using this shampoo and conditioner, they want to take into consideration what kind of climate you're in. Are you going to be under the sun all the time? Are you going to be in a really harsh, dry winter when you're using this shampoo and conditioner? Um, it makes a lot of sense. Then it goes to actually my favorite part. It tells you to choose your top five hair goals. Your options are prevent thinning, anti-frizz, color protection, curl definition. If you have curls, definitely choose this as an option. Deep conditioning, mend split ends, hydration, lengthening, manageability, nourished roots, control, oil control, replenish hair, glossy hair, improve scalp health, straightening, strengthening, thermal protection, and volumizing. So I wish I could honestly choose half of those, but I mean you also have to remember that the more pro like the more things that are put into a product uh, are going to dilute each and every strength. So like if you have 10 different things that are going to work in the hair, it's like only going to be a little bit of each thing versus if you have two and those two are going to be much stronger because they're going to be concentrated and more of it is going to be in the bottle. So I get why they have five options. Um, I would have loved more, but it makes sense. And then this part is really cool. So they have options for fragrances and the fragrances here um, that they offer so far is Green with Envy, which is green tea and honey. Verdant, 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 I don't know how to say that. Grass, Lilies, and Eucalyptus. 
I was thinking about choosing this one because of the eucalyptus in there and I wanted to see if it had any kind of a minty sensation because of the eucalyptus but um, I didn't get that one because there was something I wanted more. Tidal, which is sea, warm sand, and coconut. Shoreline, which is spice, citrus, and sea. Freshly squeezed, which is tangerine, sweet, orange. Tangerine and sweet orange. Bergeon, uh, I don't know how to say names. Um, blooming orange blossom. And the one that I chose, which is at dawn, uh, green apple pear and rose. I love how there are so many options for that as well. Like Another really cool thing that you can choose is the strength of the fragrance. So after you choose which fragrance you want, it asks you if you want light, medium, or strong strength. So that just is, you know, while you're shampooing your hair, you want a little bit of that smell, but too much smell might give you a headache. Or medium, so it's just, you know, regular, balanced. Or strong for someone who just wants to literally smell like that fragrance all day. For me personally, I want to flip my hair and everyone smells my hair. So so when the package arrived, it actually arrived about five weeks ago. I was really excited when my package came because it arrived with this super duper convenient card. My favorite part about the package that arrived was this super duper convenient card that explains absolutely everything in your package so it tells you just in case you forgot uh, from your quiz what's in there it says you have brown hair your hair is medium thickness it is dry medium density chin length and non-sensitive scalp and then it says this is where you're going it is for lengthening strengthening preventing thinning it has thermal protection and it will replenish your hair. And then it continues by telling you exactly how to use the product, just in case you don't know how to shampoo and condition your hair. But um, it tells you step by step um, the proper way to do it. And then it tells you how you will smell. At Dawn's signature is subtle. The lightest blossom of green apple, crisp pear, and rose swirl around each other, perfectly balanced and bright. This airy scent has surprising staying power, but never slips into the realm of overwhelming. It also tells you a little bit about the ingredients in there, which I find pretty cool because I always like to know what the ingredients are in my products. Um, since I had to go to hair school and I had to study certain ingredients that are put into hair products for certain reasons, um, one thing is that this product does contain keratin. I was surprised by that because I chose this formulation specifically so that it wasn't um, a reparative shampoo and conditioner um, because I simply didn't want too much keratin in there. For anyone who doesn't know, keratin is the protein in your hair naturally that is responsible for upholding its strength and shine and fullness and color and once your hair is bleached or fried or damaged in any way or is old it loses that keratin that's why hair can become dry wiry break um, just weaker and brittle um, is that be because you need more keratin in your hair but on the other hand keratin can also be a bad thing if you overuse it if you put too much keratin in your hair or you put a keratin product for too long into your hair you can over protonize your hair you can over keratinize it which will eventually break it off which is obviously not a good thing either so just be careful with that I don't think that this has too much keratin in it but this says keratin is a highly specialized fibrous protein which is found in feathers, wool, and hair, and nails. Uh, keratin is the distinct, keratin is distinct from other proteins that is rich in cy cysteine, giving a unique strength and protective quality. Which is all very true. I'm not a hater on keratin. I just am saying it so that people know to be careful with it. It's very hard to over keratinize your hair, but it's also possible. Um, so then it also says sugar lipids. I'm pretty sure it doesn't explain it here, but 
I think that the sugar lipid um, properties uh, are responsible for pH balance. I'm not completely sure on that one, but I know that more, the more acidic side of the pH scale is where your hair is healthiest. And if your uh, shampoo and conditioner is pH balanced, it's going to add shine to your hair and strengthen your hair and ensure that it doesn't get too damaged throughout the day. Yeast extract. This is the last one. Yeast extract is an anti-static that makes hair more manageable and easier to comb and style. It also effectively conditions hair without accumulating or clog clogging your pores or scalp. I love this because, as you guys know, I don't shampoo my hair that often and I need something that is not going to clog my scalp pores as well as um, the fact that my hair is processed with bleach. Um, I need something that is going to make sure it stays like manageable and not frizzy because it gets very frizzy easily if I don't use the right products. So I haven't I haven't brushed my hair ever since I've gotten it wet. Like I haven't I've styled it a little bit and there are products in there. There's leave-in products and stuff. But the fact that I can run my fingers through my hair and I literally woke up like this. That, that says a lot. Not every shampoo and conditioner I've tried does that to my hair and I can say that with the most experience because I've tried every shampoo and conditioner in my salon on at least myself or someone else. I do have a lot of experience with different shampoos and conditioners and this is a very high quality product and I can tell for many many reasons. Um, the last thing here on this pamphlet is it on the very back it tells you all of the ingredients in your product. I like this because I did experience a few years ago my body just reacted weirdly to a chemical that I always was not allergic to and then all of a sudden I was allergic to it out of um, like a hormonal imbalance in my body I guess but it was a product that was in most conditioners or I mean most shampoos as well as other things in the household but I always like to check and see if the shampoo contains this ingredient and it actually doesn't so I'm really glad to see that and it's always good to just keep this and make sure you know exactly what's in there also I like that they say the second ingredient in um, the conditioner is olive oil olive oil is great for your hair guys it also says on the back uh, when it was formulated, October 3rd, 2018. So that was actually, that was only four weeks ago, and I've had this product for four weeks. Just to know that it hasn't been sitting on the shelf like most products you buy in the store, it really ensures that it's a fresh product. Now for the exciting part. Yay! So I haven't done one of these on my channel, like I think... Oh, I've done one before, but this is a giveaway! Yay! I'm probably putting it in the um, title, so this isn't that big of a surprise for you guys, but whatever. Formulate is actually willing to send someone their very own custom formula. You can enter by going to the very first link in my description below. It's going to be something like uh, www.formulate.co slash you slash Kylie the jellyfish so um, that's my link and once you go there it's going to show what my formula is and everything about me um, I'll show that on the screen and then you can click where it says enter my giveaway and if you enter this giveaway you have a big possibility of being sent your very own formula and that is just so exciting because um, if you enter this giveaway, I want everyone who does it to comment down below that you entered the giveaway and I will also know so I'll know the liars, but comment down below that you entered the giveaway, add your Instagram username. If you are not a private account, I will go to your page and I will like a bunch of your photos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I was very excited to make this and I had to wait like so long to make it just, you know, so I could use the product more. Um, but yeah, my hair feels really great. Uh, I've never been this silver and feel this good. As you guys probably know, I have been silver like four times before and using the right products really can ensure 
that your hair is going to be much healthier in the end. I was going to make a separate video about this entirely on my whole process. A lot of people don't know how to really go about prepping yourself for a bleach out service, whether you're doing it at home or in the salon. Um, let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing a video about that on how to prep for a bleach out service because that is something I've been thinking about doing but I have a lot of other videos I'm working on so we'll see. <laughs> if you liked this video leave a like and comment down below. Also enter my giveaway because that's super duper exciting. Imagine getting your own formula like or just getting likes from me because that's I guess kind of cool too maybe but yeah I'm gonna go now guys. Thank you. Stay epic everybody. Bye!